All right, so what I want to do today in this session is I want to show you how to add and subtract integers. And let me read these off to you because there's a lot of them. It might be hard to see them. This is 2 plus 3, negative 2 plus 3, 2 plus a negative 3, negative 2 plus a negative 3, and this is negative 3 plus 2. Now over here you have 2 minus 3, negative 2 minus 3, 3 minus 2, negative 3 minus 2, and then 2 minus a negative 3. If you notice, all of them are 2's and 3's. So what I want you to do right now is pause the video and see if you can try and do these on your own. All right, now, the thing about this is you want to check your signs. And you want to make sure with addition and subtraction with the signs it could be a little confusing. With multiplication and division, it's very straightforward, right? If they're like signs, it's going to be positive. If they're unlike signs, unlike signs, they're going to be negative. So here, what you want to do is follow the rules. Now, addition is very easy, right, with the rules. If I have 2 plus 3, those are going the same direction. 2, and then I add 3, so 1, 2, 3, so I'm at 5. So 2 plus 3 equals 5. Now next, I have a negative 2 plus 3. Now the rule states if the signs are different, you take the difference of the two, and whichever one's further away from 0, you keep that sign. So 1's negative, one's positive, so the difference of that would be, would be 1. And okay, which one's further away from 0, the 2 or the 3? Two or a three? Yeah, the three. And the three is positive here. So that's the sign that it is. Now for the next one, you have two plus a negative three. What's the difference between, again, the signs are different, so you're taking the difference. Okay, what's, what's the difference between two and three? Two and three. Oh, it's just one. Now it's just one, would it be positive or negative? Right, it would be negative. And it would be negative because this three is further away from zero. Right, if I compare the negative three to the two, two is only two spaces away from zero, where negative three is one, two, three. Now, again, with addition, those signs are the same. So if those signs are the same, what are you gonna be doing to the numbers? right, you're going to be adding them. Notice they're going in the same direction. So if I take two steps back, well in this case, two steps forward for me, and then three steps back, right, where am I at? I'm at negative five. So this is negative five. Now here, what's negative three plus two? Another way to think about it, you know, if you don't have the number line, think of money. For some strange reason, when you apply uh, numbers to money, it just makes sense. So then you have negative three plus two. Okay, if I'm in debt, three dollars, and then someone gives me two, I gain two dollars. But I'm still in debt. <laughs> I'm still in the hole negative one. I'm still in the hole, I'm still in debt, one dollar. So it would be negative one. Again, going to this, all right, I'm in debt two dollars. I owe someone three dollars. So guess what? I owe total of five dollars. And owing someone is never a good thing. You always want to pay your debt. So 
then the subtraction. Now this is where some confusion is. So here's a little trick. Well, let's, you have two, right? And let's look at the number line before I show you a trick. You start at two, you're going back one, two, three. All right, so I'm going back three. Okay, so that's gonna be a negative one. I have two dollars, I lose three dollars, oh, I'm in debt, a dollar. Now, let's say you don't know the money trick. What you can do is then change that to minus three to addition. When you change it to addition, it's always gonna be plus a negative. What's two plus negative three? What's two plus negative three? Negative one, same thing, just written differently. You have, you're in debt two dollars, you lose three dollars, you're further in debt, right? So that's negative five. Now, what you can also do is change this minus sign to a plus negative. When you change to a plus negative, you just apply the addition rule. All right, so the signs are the same. Okay, the signs are the same. That means they're going in the same direction. So that means I'm adding. Since I'm adding, it would be two plus three, and I just keep the sign, so that'd be a negative five. Right, two plus three is five. Keep the sign, negative five. Now, here, Again, you can apply money, so three minus two, so I start off with three dollars. I have three dollars in my bank account. Well, it's pitiful, you gotta save up more money than that. <laughs> but you have three dollars in your bank account, and they'll probably charge you another fee so you get further in debt. That's what banks do sometimes. So you have three minus two. All right, I have a balance of three, I lose two dollars. So my balance is now at one. Now this is easy, this is very straightforward. You know, it's just three minus two. You've seen that before. What you can also do is change it to plus minus, plus negative. So then you apply the addition rule, right? Three plus negative two, which would be this, because in addition, or it doesn't matter. With subtraction, it does. So this is three plus a negative two, which is the same, so it just gives you one. This is negative three minus two. So I have, okay, negative three. If I think about it as money, or let's go to number line. Well, you have negative three, you lose, you go back two spaces, you're at negative five. So that's negative five. But you don't always, always rely on the number line. So if you apply money, okay, I'm in debt three dollars, I lose two more dollars, I'm further in debt, negative five. Now, also, what you can do is change that to a plus negative. All right, the signs are the same, right? It's addition, signs are the same, they're going in the same direction. So three plus two is five, I keep the sign that's negative five. Now this is tricky. You wanna watch out for this. I've seen students just two minus three. So they put, you know, uh, negative one. Now what's actually telling, it's telling you the opposite of what they're telling you to do. If someone told you to do not, not drink the water, what are they telling you to do? Drink the water. So here, it's very similar. So you have two minus a negative, so they're actually telling you to add. So it'd be two plus three, which is five. Now, if that is slightly confusing, which it is, what you can do is change this minus sign, like do what I did throughout, minus sign to a plus negative. So then I have two plus a negative and a negative. Well, when I have 
a negative like that, it's telling me multiplication. What's negative? What's the opposite of negative three? Right, it's a positive two. So another way to write this is two plus three. And what's two plus three? Five. Another thing that you can do when you see that double negative, you have two minus a negative five. Sorry, <laughs> negative three. Just jumping ahead of myself. So you have this what you can do is just extend this so then it becomes a plus. So two plus three, oh, that's five. And so that's a little trick that you can use, either the money or change the minus sign to a plus negative and just apply the addition rules. And that's it.